Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 49 of Darwell20's Let's Play series, Link. Huzzah! Uh, where today I am clearly wondering where my pocket storage is, that's interesting. Um, where I'm getting the rest of our whole automation system for, or doubling, up and running. Now there's there's more, there's more we can do, for sure. We talked about this last episode, right? I think we can get up to... Probably, prob I would assume it's close to triple, is as high as you can get. Uh, but what I did do is upgrade all my factories here to be the advanced form. So like the second out of all, I guess technically five tiers, if you count the initial machine. Um, so this is the second, so there's two more to go after this, right? So technically it's the third, right? Because you've got the base machine that has one, you've got the first tier upgrade, which gives you three slots. This is the second tier upgrade, which gives you five slots. Um, but it's technically the third type of machine. Um, so that gets us a bunch of uh, ore processing capabilities. So next up on the docket, I think what we're going to do uh, probably, probably, is I might want to just remove this and put him here. That feels like the right play. That feels like a pretty good idea. So if I popped our interface here, boy, my cabling is just... Such a mess. Make it as, as clean as possible, at least. That's not so bad. Yeah, that's not so bad. Getting there. Uh, and then I can throw a nice little fancy node down here. I might have some nodes. Actually, yeah, I do have some, so that's good. So we'll put this guy back in. We will set him back to the interface export. That's not what I wanted to do. Give me more iron. I want 10 of each still um, kept in stock. So what I probably want to do is this. That should work. I want iron first because I feel like I never have enough iron. Am I crazy? But that's kind of how I feel. There we go. So silver... Iron, gold, aluminum, tin, osmium, nickel, lead, copper, and silver. Uh, now, to be fair, there's a few other raw ores, I think, like cobalt and zinc. Can zinc be processed by these machines? Zinc, I guess, uh, maybe. They can't really be ore doubled by this line, it seems. But that's okay. Uh, we could always just, I mean, we can smelt it straight up. But we haven't had a need for a ton of zinc just yet. Not just yet. Uh, but we could also, if we wanted to pulverize it, that gives me a 1.3x. Um, and then, ooh, we get a little bit of sulfur as a side effect of that guy. Not too shabby. So anyway, let's get this guy up, extract eight at a time, and then down, insert. And that should be easy peasy. You can tell I've also already muted my sounds a little bit. I made it around 25%. That seems pretty fair. So they're not too loud. Cool. Uh, and these guys I each gave a 4x speed install. Now that's probably going to cripple my RF. Yeah, we can already see our generator turning on. Well, that's not that bad, actually. So you're using what? 1.26 thousand, you're using 316, you're using 316. And you're using around 316, so not terrible. And then also you're doing okay. How are you doing by way of oxygen? I think we're all right. I mean, we're obviously net losing oxygen here, but my hope being that uh, by the time we clear out this backlog of raw ores that we have to process, it won't be too bad, right? We're already cooking up a bunch of gold at this point. Um, so yeah, overall, this looks this looks pretty good. Not bad at all. I might throw some more speed upgrades in these three machines, more so than this one, because obviously this is kind of my gumming up the works machine, right? And he's on par with all the other three. So this guy is, because he produces two, so this guy is twice as slow, if you will. So I might throw a few more speed upgrades in these guys. Maybe I'll do that now just to balance it properly. We're going to want 12... And 12. Oh, we're missing sand. That's okay. We might have some. Uh, 
Now, does this guy do a gas upgrade? We can take a look here. Gas upgrade, efficiency increase. All right, so let me get like eight of those dudes. Because gas upgrades, if you can use them, are awesome. So see how much gas this is using right now? If I throw some gas upgrades in here, it should be a huge improvement. Anytime you see a machine that uses gas, just check the update tab and see if there's a gas upgrade available. And if it is, just put it in. It will, all it does is make the machine use less gas, which there's literally no downside. So yeah, see how we're barely using oxygen anymore? And if we take a look down here, we still have a net loss, it's just not as severe. So we are being more efficient with oxygen use, which is cool. Okay, so speed and energy, energy and speed, energy and speed, perfect. So now we're definitely struggling on power, as we can see, right? We are barely, barely, barely hanging on to our power needs, and it's probably because we're about 8,000, right? So if we look here, we need 1.2, we need about 1,000. Yeah. So between all the power usages throughout my base, I think we've we've hit some kind of limit for sure. You know, this guy's probably using a bit. The pump's probably using a bit. So if you look at this whole production line, he's using a lot of power. Probably more than our So I think we should we should investigate today potentially um revamping our power gen slash storage because as we get deeper into mechanism we're going to want more and more power gen so there's a couple things we're going to want uh first off we're going to absolutely want to get into flux networks uh second off we'll probably want to get some high tier power cubes so right now this guy can store around 24 million if i got the top tier cube here that's 102 million that he can store so nothing too crazy um now eventually with mechanism we can get the induction dude, which gets us into a whole new realm of power storage. It's just obnoxiously large amounts of numbers, um, but also obnoxiously large amounts of resource costs. So we're not ready for an induction cell just yet. But my thoughts are uh, maybe an ultimate energy cube and then also flux networks and a smidge of laser IO, and we should be in a pretty good place. Does that sound pretty cool? I think so. So let's get ready to uh, take a look at flux networks first, probably. Uh, well, we could also work on the ultimate energy cube. That guy is just going to need some atomic alloys, which needs enriched obsidian, which we haven't gotten to yet. Enriched obsidian is refined obsidian dust, which is obsidian dust with diamond dust in this dude. Okay. Um, so how are we for diamonds at the moment? 111. Let's go check on our quarry. Because our quarry, remember, diamonds towards the bottom. I'm assuming we're out of power by now? Yeah, by virtue of the fact that this thing's not moving at all, I can only assume that we are out of power. Now remember, I did request 14 quads, so I should be able to boop and boop, and then you guys are both back into the 420 production line. Nice. Nuclear reactor will not explode. And then now you are cooking once again, sir. Now the one downside of this quarry is, as far as I know, there's no good way to get fortune going on. Now that said, with the RF tools quarry, or builder if you will, uh, there is a quarry card that supports fortune. So that might be in our future. Whoosh. Meanwhile, I see, li I see little diamonds. And yes, I'm gonna mine them manually because fortune, right? Fortune three, yes sir. That's why we're doing that. Any other diamonds nearby that I can snag? Not bad. Never hurts to grab a few extra diamonds, or iron for that matter, if you see it in the walls. Now what's interesting is this column right here. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed this in the last episode or two. I've been kind of observing it, trying to figure out what's going on. I have a pretty good theory on what's going on. I'm not 100% sure. Clearly there's a lot of things on the walls to clear up. But um, it is a chunk boundary, and that is that is a good hint as to what it might be. So, boop, see? Literally perfectly aligned with chunk boundaries. Um, so, what does this tell us? It tells us that 
it's probably a result. If we look at our map, you can see I was kind of experimenting with what needs to be loaded. So I only loaded the chunks with the reactor and the quarry in it. So that would be this chunk is loaded. And you can see it on the top right, this chunk is loaded and this chunk is loaded. So the quarry seems to, interestingly enough, be fine with this chunk and 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 this chunk, but not this one. Uh-uh-uh, too far away. I don't know, is there a range limit on this? I'm gonna have to ask um, the FTB team who worked on this mod. Just kind of curious how this works, because you would think that either, either the quarry itself needs to be loaded and that's it, which is what the initial impression was, or the whole thing needs to be loaded. It's odd that this one, maybe there's like a limit, like maybe it's, maybe it only loads like, like a three by three around itself or something. And then once you get far enough away, it's no good. So anyway, let's come back in a minute and uh, we'll be ready to play. Wow, I got a lot of diamonds from that, 43, nice. Well guys, I went to do, you know, a little bit of my usual shenanigans off camera work and I came back to find my crafting grid offline, which probably means that we're out of power which probably means that if we popped into the nether, we might see that we are out of power in general out here, or what's the deal? Let's go find out and get ready to tick accelerate if we need to. So this is not a great setup for the pump. Um, so he's actually got a good amount of range left to him. Let's make sure that he's ready to go. Um, how am I for nodes? I might wanna, yeah, no, you're weird, Dynamo. You're weird, you're very weird. This is like an old, I think it's a bug, or at least a pretty old, all right, internal tank is full, so that's cool. So let's do this, this, and this. I'm gonna move this from fluid pipes, because they're a little bit slow, to be honest with you, uh, especially without upgrades in them. Uh, but down will be an extract, all the fluids and you on the down can be an insert on a high priority, and then you on the down can be an also insert. So that should be cool. Nice. Okay, that works for me. Uh, and then hopefully, that brings us back online here, or at least soonish. So you're getting power, which is good. Let's give all three of you power. And I also suspect that because we're offline now, my guess, my absolute guess, is that we're probably out of crystal power. Yep, guess who's turned white and no longer useful to us? Well, well, I should say no longer useful as it relates to, per se, generating power. But he, hey, let me out of there. Absolutely is useful as it relates to catalyzing. So 700, if we pop this dude in here, 2700, nice. All right, um, we should probably, I'm assuming all of these crystals are kind of meh. Okay, works for me. We should generate a new crystal, right? So we've got 6,000 here. Uh, I think a lot of the deep resonance bugs that we ran into last time have been resolved. Now, also what I can do, oh, that's cool now, actually. Now that I think about it, we can rework how some of this works uh, for reasons and things, right? Uh, so let's remember how this worked, right? So you would um, extract, a thousand at a time, and then you would insert here, and then you're the filtered bit, so you would extract from this guy, but I think I had you going like once every so often, because this guy was filtered minimum purity. Oh, this thing got reset, it looks like. Okay, and you've got your filter material in there. So what we'd probably, oh, this is the filter. Oh. Was I not just looking at that a second ago and it said 100, 100, 100? Or am I just completely insane? Um, but what we probably wanna do now is we want you to be on redstone high mode. 
on the white redstone channel extract so that now and then if we got a lever here and then we put a redstone card in now if we wanted to check this out that's cool and then it went up here right and then it should be refiltered and then it should sink its way down here that's neat and maybe i'll make you on the orange channel redstone high that could be cool that could be cool okay so then you should be back at let's see you're still around 16. if i tick accelerated this dude that should clear this out a little bit quicker and then we should be back at 6,000 in a moment good okay cool uh so remind me what was a good catalyst to use i think it was gunpowder if i'm remembering correctly uh but i don't know if they're in jei yet though they might be i know hey hey look deep resonance laser sweet they're in here now cool so uh let's get let's get some better stuff right uh, so I remember gunpowder being one of the betters because it's eight and four for strength and efficiency, but it maxes out at 70 and 60. So keep that in mind. Um, glowstone is also not bad, but that maxes out at 50 and 50. And we have a lot more gunpowder than we do glowstone because mob farms, right? Um, nether stars, though, are also very good, and we have those automated now. I'm just saying. Uh, how are we for dimensional shard ore? Dimensional shard ore is pretty nice as well as a resource. And I think we've been getting that from our quarry. So we might want to check on dimensional shard ore and we might want to check on nether stars because that bumps me up to 90%, but with a minus 60 on purity. So be careful because if your purity drops too low, it becomes a problem, right? Uh, but where are we at with dimensional shard ore? We've got like a lot of that. In fact, we're probably voiding some of it. Um, what we should consider we should probably not be voiding that much dimensional shard or so now at least you have a little bit more storage to you that should be cool yeah but dimensional shard ore is a nice way. Let's try throwing uh, a nether star in here. You ready? So if I grabbed one nether star, boom, and gave you your redstone signal. Not bad. Not bad. So what I think you should do, and what I'm going to do, is we're going to start with a bunch of gunpowder, okay? And then we'll use nether stars after that. So where's my gunpowder in here? Okay. And I should be able to this dude, right? Uh, and we could always just turn our mob farm back on. And then you should be running again, yes? And that'll get us some more gunpowder, among other things, I think. There we go. Just took a sec. Cool. All right, so here's my thoughts. You ready? Um, and I wouldn't mind an orange lever dude here too so maybe we'll install an orange redstone card orange input that could be cool right so now check this out when i turn this lever on that should activate and then when i turn this lever on this one on the bottom should activate cool and then it'll up the purity of it a little bit as it goes through the the purification dude again right how cool is that? I like that. This occurs to me, I should make the redstone lasers dependent on the redstone channel because they only have a redstone channel and therefore they will... So this part renders correctly, but this laser doesn't. So that's a bug that I'm going to note for myself. All right, so now what I'd like to do... So you're at a purity of 81.5. So let's burn a stack of gunpowder and see how that goes. And I'm probably going to tick accelerate this because you know me. And then once this catalyst gets low, low enough, it'll eat up this resonating crystal for sure. As long as our purity doesn't drop like to zero, we're fine-ish. So it's going pretty good right now, actually. The efficiency and strength are going really nice. 
So let's throw another stack of gunpowder in there because we lost efficiency, purity. Purity we didn't go too bad on, but we're going to want to re-clean it up after this stack, I suspect. Yeah, because now we're getting down to a purity of around 30. Yeah, once the stack of gunpowder is burned up, we will re-clean it, and that should be good. Now, remember, gunpowder caps out at 70 for strength and 60 for efficiency, which is where we're at. So gunpowder will do nothing more than lower purity at this point. I probably even wasted a little bit, but that's okay. It's only gunpowder, right? So now I flip this lever, and everything should go up into here to get cleaned up again. Right? And we can tick accelerate you. And we might need some more filter material in it. But also note that the purity didn't hit the 85%. So I'm going to flip this lever, and that should have it circle back to the top again. Now, if I turn this lever off again, you're at 75%. Turn it on. Boop. And now your priority is at 85%. So that's cool, right? That is definitely cool. And now you're good. So now we can throw nether stars in there. Not too shabby. Oh man, it's so close to 100% that I just need to do it, right? Not that we can't get more nether stars. All right, so now we're at 100% efficiency and purity, right? So we want to flip this lever to let it clean again, right? And increase our purity up a little bit higher. And now we're gonna need the more filter material. And because we're not at 80%, let's turn this lever on. Now turn the lever off, and we should be getting down here again. Nice. All right, so now if we looked at, I'm pretty sure diamonds do a good job of increasing purity or, or whatever it is, but let's just see if there's anything else. So ender pearls will do it. What I want to do is not lose strength and efficiency. I just want to bump up purity a little bit more. So diamonds will do a good job. Dimensional shard ore will also do a good job, but very slowly. And emeralds will do it, but we don't have a ton of those. Snowballs, but that only brings us up to 30, so that's not going to do much. So ender pearls or diamonds are kind of our best chance. Let's see what ender pearls look like over here. Well, that's funny, it's trying to run even though we don't have a crystal there. Haha. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll have a uh, we'll have some power boosting soon. Hey, we're getting there. They're just enderpearls. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a perfect 100% pure crystal. There we go. Boom. Perfect, 100% pure, all the way crystal. All right, cool. Now, uh, what did I do next? I get the crystallizer, right? And I believe the crystallizer has to sit on top of the tank. And he might also need power. Wasn't he? Or did he go under the tank? Remind me of that? This machine will crystallize the liquid from the tank below it and eventually produce a crystal. Okay, cool. 
So what I might want to do is get a tank from Deep Resonance. This wasn't exactly what I was planning to do today, but that's okay. It's kind of neat. Okay. Now, he does need power, which we'll deal with in a minute. Uh, we could probably just get some pipes over to here. Okay. And then you give me... I think I was getting low on these, right? By the way, if you if you enable the consume mode thing, it puts them all in there automatically. It's so good. All right, so then we just need um, what I'll probably want here then is a node, and you'll be a separate node dedicated, you know, just to your own thing. But you're gonna have an extract of fluids, but you need a. It doesn't have to be a different channel, so I'm just gonna leave it white. But a high uh, extract, a thousand. And then over here on the insert, I wouldn't mind a counting filter actually in there. Is there a fluid for deep resonance crystal yet in JEI? I think because there's no probably bucketable version of it. So maybe we can't filter it, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it's okay. Uh, and you'll insert. So I can't limit how much can go in there with a count. I was going to say like only put 6,000 in, but. We'll manage that via this thing, right? Um, and then a lever here with a redstone card. And go. Sweet. And then redstone off. So now you should be producing a spiffy crystal. <laughs> Goodbye power. <laughs> That's okay. It'll be done in a sec. All right, moment of truth. How good is this crystal? This is a perfect crystal. Literally the best we can possibly get. 100% pure. 100% strength, 100% efficiency, and 100% purity. It's the best crystal. And it's going to give us... Uh, do you not tell me what your stats are? Maybe once it's placed down in the world? 20,000 are of a tick. Not bad at all my friends not bad at all that's pretty cool i'm assuming these are enderman sh shenanigans i'm assuming i'm simply assuming that all right so hey twenty thousand dollars per tick ain't nothing to sneeze at now let's look at uh mechanism so what we were looking at making let's go ahead how am i for diamonds at this point eh, great, not terrible but what i could probably get is let's get ourselves some cube automation, right? So we're going to want you. I would like you to also know how to make these because this is an important task. Uh, and then this guy. And then this guy. And then this guy. And because I don't think you know how to make these yet, you're going to learn. Or did I do that? That He knows how to make enriched obsidian but I don't think he knows how to make this thing yet. So you're gonna get that taught. Um, you don't know how to make refined obsidian dust. Thought I did that. Well, let's get that added too, right? Uh, so that would be you in the diamond metallurgic infuser. So I'm gonna put that in manually because I don't know which one's the diamond one. Or no, I should have known, but that's there. And then this, and then you don't know how to make powdered obsidian. I wasn't sure if you did or not. Yeah, that's not the right way to go. There's got to be a better way than that. I mean, there's got to be a better way than that, right? Obsidian doesn't go in the what do you make over here? Obsidian dust. Ah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, no, that works. I could do that. Um, so now if I want you, does that count? Missing powdered obsidian. I wonder if that counts. 
Looks like it counts, right? Energy and speed. I assume that works. You're not upgraded, so you and you need these guys. And you, and you. Perfect. Okay. And then the refined obsidian can go in here to make that. Perfect. Okay, good. Uh, so let's modify this pattern. Such that you get the obsidian dust makes refined obsidian. And then we will say obsidian dust is the macerator from this dude. And then you can go in there. And now if I want, for example, 10 refined obsidian, that shouldn't be the end of the world. Right? I'm cool with that. That works for me. Sweet. Now, if I came over here, can I get an ultimate energy cube? Apparently, yes. Well, that's exciting. Back when it's done. All right, so energy cube, ready to go. Quick. Pro tip on the energy cubes, they will fill up from your, um, from, from your, if you have any in your power thingy here. Yeah, so this guy's actually out of power, so that's why it's not filling. But were he not out of power, he would have filled up my energy cube. Just putting that out there. Um, so let's, let's migrate this guy to energy cube. Does that sound cool? So we're going to pop down the energy cube. Oh my goodness, this is just... So many things. I should I would I would like to make this all flux and laser IO, but probably not this episode. Right? Um so let's make sure that the side config, the front I actually want to be an input. And then we could make sure that you're outputting to the right. So that should be filling that guy up. Okay, cool. And then you should get a wrench. Output this. Output this. And this is also supposed to be an output. So that basically your only input is on the bottom and the front. And everything else should be an output, right? And then the front will eventually probably be an output as well once we drain this completely. That should work out. So shouldn't you be like signaling or something? Look at me trying to teleport with a with a wrench. Why are you off? Why are you off? That's actually like an exceptionally good question. Maybe you don't read the, maybe you don't emit. No, you're a power monitor. You should be able to detect. Can you not detect? Huh. Maybe he can't detect power from the energy cubes? Possible? Well, that's kind of a bummer. We're going to have to reinvent this automation. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Because if the power monitor can't read you, that's a little bit of a bummer. 
Hmm. Hold on, it did something. It glowed for a moment, and I don't know how I did that. Oh, hello. Oh. Maybe the min has to be lower? What's it at right now? It's at like 18%, let's say. Oh, okay, that's how that works. Actually, we probably don't want this happening. Not yet, at least. Because I suspect that you're incapable of draining all the power out of this fast enough, right? Actually, this guy, that's actually the input, so we don't want that. We want you input, and then we want on the left side to be input. Right? And what kind of uh, inputiness do we have down here? How much RF a tick can you handle? 8,000? So let's upgrade this. Now you can do 32,000 RF a tick, which is more than the 20,000 that we're producing. So if I bump this back up to like 90% now, shouldn't this be... Shouldn't this be climbing? Don't be wasting my crystal now. So, left, right, they can all be inputs. The top is the output, and the back is the output. This should all be cool. Okay. Oh, did I break that? Possible. No, no, you're fine. I thought this was going to be the easy part. This could be a master override on, right? Let's just get this running. Some crystals are too powerful for this size generator. Well, there's your problem. I think we need a bigger generator. Generator part. You can place these in any configuration. Hey, there we go. Now we're cooking. Hey, hey, look at that. Look at it go. All right. And then it should fill up pretty quickly. And then once it's full, we should be good, right? I think we're good here. As long as you're not retaining any power. See how it's at 20? That's because it's producing 20 and draining 20 every tick. So we're actually extracting fast enough, which is exactly what we want to see. So I call that pretty good to go. Nice. All right. We got to wrap up, though. It is definitely wrapping up point for the episode. So let's do that here. We'll come back next time. We've obviously got uh, some more fun to be had. But now we've got better power gen and better storage. Let's look at Flux Networks next episode. Uh, so that we can have fun with that bad boy. And then, uh, you know, lots more, obviously, to do. 
lots more obviously to do what did i just do i did something that i didn't want to do so i'll fix that all right that was my sign off hope you enjoyed the episode take it easy